What's up you guys? So today in this video I'm going to be working on the XB which is out there. I have my car warming up out there because I haven't driven it for like three weeks so I'm just going to have it uh, warm up and idle for a little bit. But anyway, we're going to be working on the XB over there. Um, there's going to be a couple of things I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the roof racks because I don't really use them anymore so I'm going to take them off and put them on the side for now. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the exhaust gaskets in and I'm gonna go ahead and fix uh, the AC bezel. One of the knobs fell in, so I'm gonna go ahead and plastic epoxy that back up. Um, too hot it should be. So that's pretty much what's on the agenda for today. So hopefully we can do it in a fairly timely fashion. All right, so stay tuned for the video. All right, so now that I have the car in the garage, I'm gonna first take off the racks. Um, these racks are super simple to remove and install. It's literally just, you open the door, you lift the clip, and it can pretty much lift up. So I'm gonna do that to all the sides here. So these, these racks have these little rubber feet on them, so that way your roof doesn't get all messed up. So I don't want to lose them, so what I do is, when I usually take them off, I usually just like to put a little bit of blue tape just to hold the feet on. Because as you can see on this one, it gets stuck to the car, so you put, you know what you do is you get it off. Stick it back underneath the racks here. And voila. Now I know these racks are kind of ricey, but these have an actual use. I actually use them, it's not just for looks. Um, and I also got them for free, they came with the car, so. off I'm just gonna throw them up here with the other spare parts there we go Alright, so <coughs> next on the list is to fix this here. This knob keeps falling out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it so I can go ahead and re, re not re um epoxy it because I've never fixed it before. But uh we're gonna go ahead and re install it so pretty much you pull off this bezel you just pull it up um, I believe you have to remove this bezel here even this bottom bezel here something like that and then you pull up on this one might have to take off this giant shift now Let's 
So the way this works is there's clips all around here, but I guess it broke off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put it, I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy it while it's still in the car. I don't need to take the whole thing out. I'm not gonna put too much. I just want enough to hold it in place, just in case I do end up having to take it off later on in the future. So that's pretty much my plan. Just get it to stay on, and it should be good. So, Fuse the two together. Something like that. And now I'm just gonna let it sit while I work on the rest of the car. All right guys, so I'm gonna eat the car right now and the gasket that I need to replace is the donut gasket in here. Um, from the down pipe to this, what is this mid pipe or this S pipe here? So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this, pop the gasket in, and tighten back the spring bolts. Now I don't think I have a gasket in here right now because when I replace it, I totally forgot to. I replaced this whole exhaust from the headers back because I needed to pass smog. So this is an entirely stock exhaust here, but I don't think I for, I didn't put the gasket in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other gasket from the exhaust that I took off and just throw it on here. All right guys, so I didn't get to film because uh, I ran into some problems. But anyway, I removed this down pipe from the header and I accidentally snapped this bolt here. So I went ahead and just put this back on and I left the snap bolt here because I'm gonna take off the header later. Um, I had my wife start the car up and rev it so I can hear where the leak was coming from and it was coming from here uh, This connection here. So what I did was I went ahead and I I, re I took these bolts off um, and Just what I thought I forgot to put the gasket in here So it's a lot quieter now since I did put the gasket in here. All right guys, so I didn't update you but uh, I did end up replay uh, Installing this, reinstalling this, so now this is all plus epoxy in here. It's pretty solid, it ain't going anywhere. And I also changed out the exhaust gaskets. As you guys see, uh, I actually broke a bolt, so I kind of stopped recording because I went to go fix it. But anyway, uh, the car is a lot quieter now that I changed the exhaust gaskets out. You can hear that. louder the exhaust gasket that needed to be changed was the the one right before the catalytic converter um after the mid pipe i guess hope you guys like that video please make sure you subscribe like and comment if you have any questions leave them down below or you can hit me up on my social media links will be in the description and as always see you next time all right peace out